Five years ago, in 2020, India's Chandrayaan-1 mission had found that moon is rusting. Now, scientists have determined whose fault it is. And surprisingly, the fault is all Earth's. Now, let's break down what that really means. New research shows that particles from our Earth's atmosphere are traveling all the way to the moon and reacting with its minerals. The result is the formation of hematite, which is essentially lunar rust. Now, hematite, or moon rust, forms when oxygen reacts with iron-rich minerals. But the moon barely has any oxygen. So how is rust forming on our Earth's only natural satellite? The answer lies in what researchers call Earth wind. About five days each month, as Earth blocks the sun, the moon is mainly exposed to this earth wind. And during this period, molecules of oxygen escape our atmosphere and drift toward the moon. The oxygen from the earth then reacts with iron on the moon's surface, creating hematite. To test this phenomenon, scientists recreated earth wind in the lab. They fired high energy oxygen and hydrogen at iron-rich minerals similar to those found on the moon. Now, oxygen ions transform the minerals into hematite, and the experiment confirmed that earth wind is capable of rusting the moon. Since 2020, when India's Chandrayaan-1 mission reported the presence of lunar rust or hematite, scientists were puzzled on where exactly it came from. They suspected the rust-causing oxygen was coming from Earth, and that suspicion has now been confirmed. The discovery shows how the Earth and the Moon are connected in ways we didn't realize. The Moon acts as a kind of chemical diary, which is uh, preserving a record of the interactions with uh, our planet. Now, future missions to the moon hope to bring back lunar hematite samples to trace exactly how much oxygen on the moon comes from the Earth to form this lunar rust. Now, beyond the science, the findings remind us that even space isn't completely isolated. The Earth is leaving its mark on the moon quite literally, turning parts of it rusty. And every month, as the moon passes through the earth wind, these chemical changes continue, slowly shaping its surface. So next time you look at the moon, remember, it's not just a lifeless rock. It's almost like a mirror of earth reflecting particles and chemistry from our planet, a cosmic connection written in rust. First post now available in nine languages on YouTube. English. French. Le FMI. German. Hindi. Indonesian. Italian. Japanese. Portuguese. Spanish. Go to settings. Click on audio track and select the language of your choice. Be the first to know what's happening around you in your first language. First post.